gonna be right, baby. Did it go in? It didn't go in. <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right, everyone. Breaking par series here. We are at Atlanta National, playing the back nine. See if we can't get under par on this side and uh, help you and your game improvement along the way. Let's rock and roll. And number 10 is no joke, 414 yards. Whew, better hit the fairway, that's all I'm saying. All right, I found the right side of the fairway, which is perfect, and I've got the best angle into that left pin, 165 into a little bit of a headwind. Normally, like my 165 is just a comfortable, smooth, like stock seven iron. So you would think I'd go six, but I'm not gonna go six. The ball's slightly above my feet, so it's gonna encourage a little draw and long is dead. So I'm still gonna stick with seven here um, just because it's going to most likely draw. And I can be a little more aggressive here, much more forgiveness on the right side. So that's why I'm sticking with the same club. And short is better than long on this particular shot. Oh, be right, baby. Man, I hit it really good. It did draw. It might be a little long though. Oh, it was all over it. We'll see when we get there. It went long. Where'd that go? Well, I did just what I didn't want to do. I hit two awesome shots. <laughs> the second one went long. It's way down here. Well, I just got to try to get it on and hopefully make a putt. Well, just give it a chance. That's all we can do. Greens are fast today. Wow. They're moving. All right, not the start we wanted bogey but I'm not gonna worry about that what happened is I hit I actually hit three great shots four really including the putt that was a good putt just got a uh, bad rake hit that seven iron just killed that thing so I'm gonna go take with the positives with it this is a tough track for sure you make little mistakes you're gonna pay the price and that's what happened there 403 playing the back tips here at Atlanta National Par four, big dog leg left. You gotta hit a good one here. So I'm just going um, as far down the center of that dog leg as I can. Driver, I'll get through. Nope, straight down. This is by far the hardest course I play out here. You make little mistakes and they're incredibly costly. But if you're playing well, you can go really low. I've done that and I've done the other side too. So. It's always a great test of your game when you play a challenging track like this one. Here, hit a great shot, but I didn't start it on the perfect line. So clipped a little couple leaves and dropped straight down. And so I'm probably got to pitch out and lay up now and try to make par the old fashioned way. Cheating, no, kidding. Uh, getting up and down, <laughs> making a putt. All right, the biggest mistake in the world is trying to go for too much. So I'm just pitching it out here where my driver should have been, like a epic drive should have been. And then uh, we'll go from there. I only need maybe 80 yards right here. Perfect. 101 left and uh, that's right to the flag. So I only want to carry it probably 95. It'll probably kick out. A little bit after that so I'm just going 54 degree wedge nice and smooth and I'm aiming maybe 10 feet right of the hole because you don't want to go in that peat die bunker there on the left good thing I aimed 10 feet right because I hit it uh, like five feet left <laughs> we think we're okay though we got a good look for par obviously I wish it was for birdie but it's not anytime you're in trouble I'm telling you it's a good lesson take your medicine and put it in a spot where you can potentially save yourself. And it's pretty straight going up this hill. Oh, yes. See, take your medicine, trust the club that goes the shortest in your bag, this one. And good things will happen more often than not. But when you go for stuff out there and try to just sling it around and get it as close as possible, then you run the risk of double and triple bogey. Here, I said, bogey's fine, give me a chance. And it paid off. Tough par three here, we got 213 yards. Over water, I'm going five wood. 
and uh, I'm gonna just play out to the left. Wind's a little off the left. In this situation, again, we've just gotta make sure that we're committed. I'm just going driving range swing. So just something I feel confident with and just block out all the disaster this hole has to offer. Make sure that if you know somebody who needs some help like uh, with course management, playing, how to kind of work your way around the golf course, send them this video, share it with somebody. That's the goal is so that we can all get better in our course management. Notice here, you're 221 of the flag, I'm long, right? I took the water completely out of play. This gives me an opportunity to make a birdie, water doesn't. So a lot of times people shoot the water and say, oh, it's 200 to carry the water. Let me just, and then they take their 205 club. That's really not the way to go about doing it. You wanna go, what's the back of the green? Let me take that club. 30 footer, there's a lag putt, downhill. Super fast greens, greens are running 12 and a half, could be 13. Go, got a little bumpy here at the beginning. Oh, no. Oh, it didn't break. It's a good roll. I can't complain. Well, we're trying to go under par and we're two over par, so we have our work cut out for us early on this tough track, but not to worry. We've got a par five coming up, another par five shortly after that. So, and it really, it's like we've got some scoreable holes coming. So we have a good opportunity to get back. Let's see if we can do it. All right, it's easy to kind of get discouraged when you should have probably had a par there and you bogeyed it. But look, I cannot control how that ball bounces out of that fringe, but I can control my attitude. And that's exactly what we're gonna do because I'm hitting it good. So we're gonna do that. That'll be all right. It's not as horrible as it looks. I'm on the pine straw, just missed right. We're in a good spot to lay up par five, no problem. And I've got, let's just see, I've got 260 to the flag. Obviously we're not gonna go for it. So let's be smart. How much do I want left? 100 yards would be great. You know, last time I had 100 yards, I saved par. So that's what we want. So 165 is gonna be my number. And I think that's a, just a solid seven iron. And just play a little cutter. Should be, work out perfect. I love that. 97 here, a little into the wind. And I think it's perfect for what we had back on our uh, first hole of the day. And I'm gonna go 54 degree. Pins in the back, so we can't go too long here. But there is a slope we wanna get over, land it kinda just on top, and, and stop it, it's the goal. And I'm really gonna focus on that three quarter swing here with the wedge. And I'm gonna aim a touch right, because the ball should draw with it being above my feet a little bit. <laughs> oh, I drew way more than I thought it would. Okay, I'm in trouble. It's a rough one today, grinding for pars. Sometimes you gotta do that. I always keep a good attitude about it. You still got a chance for salvation. All right, scrapping along. Okay, what's the focus here? Well, I feel like I'm hitting good shots. And just little tiny mistakes, especially on this course, will be costly. So that's good. That's why we wanna do this. We wanna challenge ourselves. That's why it's under par. Why we do a nine hole under par? because that's gonna help us stay mentally focused so that when we're out on the golf course, when you're out there, you can have a nine hole stretch where you're just focused in, locked and loaded, playing at your best, at least mentally. It's a nice 440, 50 yard hole, Pete Dye special, railroad ties all the way down the right hand side. I don't even mind being in the waste bunker on the right. It makes the hole a lot shorter, so. On here, like a hole like this, I challenge it, because in it, you're gonna have a perfect lie, really cut in the corner. Found the fairway. 178 in here, little wind in my face, pins all the way back, I'm going six iron. And again, as much as I wanna get back to par and under par, this is not necessarily the hole to gamble on. So I'm just going smooth swing, about 20 feet left of the flag. Hey, if it goes a little right of that and it gets closer to the flag, then fantastic. What's the theory behind these 40, 50 foot putts, people wanna know, oh, how do you get speed right? How do you get speed right? It's all about practice. You have to practice these a lot on the practice screen. That's the only way to develop good feel with long lag putts. All right, we gotta grind it out again. That was the right speed, 
Sadly, I totally misread the brake. Oh. Let's regroup. Too many times you have a bad hole and then you blow up on the next hole because you're, you're mad. So, just refocus. I'm going con conservative driving range swing here and I'm just gonna try to put it left center of the fairway. No big deal. Those tiny little things are easy to fix and you can go from three over to three under pretty quickly just by tightening up a little thing. So we're right there. We're right there. It's not like I'm spraying it all over the planet. Oh my gosh. Worst shot in the history of life. Um, I'm just gonna try to punch hook this thing um, below that tree and just put it in a good layup spot. Four iron here. Uh, did most of what I wanted. All right, I got lucky. I've got a good angle. I've got a chance here on this par five to make birdie. Pins in an accessible spot. Knocking down a 54. Let's aim a little bit left. It should release to the hole. I, don't even, I only need about 75 yards here. So here's what I do when their greens are really fast like this and I have a downhill putt. I have 21 feet. So normally, on a normal day, I'm, I'm trying to get the ball back here. But on a fast green day, I'm really moving my hole up about four feet right here. That's my spot. So I'm trying to be like aggressive to here. That is quick. Just think if I was looking at the hole, how far this putt would be. Scratching and clawing. So we gave ourselves an opportunity there with a bunch of bad shots. And so now it's time to just reset, refocus, and just try to plug away. Let's get a birdie on the next two holes. So let's finish strong, let's see where we land at the end. A short par four here, 16, 306. I don't think I can get there today, a little into the wind. Well, we would have drove the green. Tricky shot here. <laughs> Not a whole lot of green to work with. But let's get a good splash out. Let's see what we can accomplish here. Oh man, go in. Hello. Hello. A lot of people think you got to really hold your hands ahead in the bunker. You don't. You actually want to release that ahead. And uh, if you want some good bunker tips, like what to do, what not to do, I'm going to link a video right up here so you can work on your bunker game. So hopefully you can hit better shots more often. I'll put that right here for you. But watch it after we finish here. See if we can get a birdie. Oh boy. Well, no birdie, that's all right. Good par. We can't let the bad putting get us down. Just gotta adapt. Even though we have two to go, there's still opportunity to make a couple birdies and finish strong, which is the goal. 158, we're going eight iron here on 17. I had a really good shot, just a bit long. And it's got this little pitch shot, pretty straight up the hill. It's gonna break a bit right. And based on the speed of the green, I'm gonna play a bit of break on this. It went dead straight. All right, squeaked her in. 461, par four, heading back to the clubhouse. This is it. It doesn't look like we're going under par in this video. We're gonna keep grinding, you're gonna keep grinding. We're all gonna never give up, because we're close. We're all close. Hopefully these videos help you get your course management dialed in, so you can make better decisions out there more often. Let's see if we can finish it off though with a solid, I'd be happy with a par here to be honest with you. That'd, that'd be solid. And step one with the front left pin is put it in the right side of the fairway. All right, goal one achieved. We have 181 left, right side of the fairway. I just can't go long here. I'm just gonna give it all I got here with a seven iron. And whew, this is a tough hole, tough green. Anything on is excellent. So I'm gonna just try to hit my best swing here, the nine holes. Meaning, I'm not gonna over swing, I'm just gonna give it perfect rhythm, tempo, timing. 
Sounds easy. <laughs> it's a lot harder than it, it seems, but you can do it. Not the greatest Close. under par day, but we have one chance left at birdie just off the green here. <sighs> Last hole, let's see what we can do. Can we make it? Stretch. Oh, it's got a chance. Oh my goodness. Wow, that green is fast. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a good time. Hope we learned a little bit. Not a great start to my under par series this. Stay tuned next time. We're gonna see if we can't go under par for real. Love you guys. See you soon.